are just waiting for it waiting for it chapter 7 the penultimate chapter Mario shoots the moon yes Mario goes to space again in this chapter all right who is excited I'm excited you know just thinking about it just thinking about how far we've come just gets me all excited it is a stupid cold out here Come on, Gonzalez, let's move. Far Outpost should be just up ahead, I think. Well, your intuition yet again serves you right. Well, anyway, to start off, there's a star piece over here. Alright, we got the star piece. Now let's move over to the right. Alright. Um, kind of a cool little area. We've got snow, we got all this cool, cold stuff. I love snow, I love the winter season. Um, but... We also gonna get a few new enemies. Um, that's not really a negative thing. There's like one shine sprite in one of these wood areas, so um, we're gonna be coming up to close to a new enemy soon. Um, all right, let's keep on going. Oh, okay. I guess there's an enemy behind that tree. I didn't see. Anyway, we have these ice puffs. I believe they're called. Um, these are like regular huff and puffs, or like regular puff puff clouds. Um, but. They have quite a bit of HP. Um, nothing that a spin jump shouldn't really take care of. Yep. Alright. Uh, the main attack that an Ice Puff has is they basically like to either attack you directly, or they like to charge up themselves like a regular Puff does. Uh, puff and Huff Puff or whatever. A, a regular Huff Puff likes to charge himself up, like, just like that. And what this does, it allows them to shoot ice at you. Like, perform an ice attack. And it also damages you if you try to hit them. So, um, that's a problem. I think Gulp works. Um, I'm pretty sure Gulp does work. I know, we can try it out. See how that happens. See how that all, all turns out. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it works. Alright. So, in this instance, Gulp is probably the best thing to go with. And no, no bingo. Alright, so here the Ice Puff is going to go with the ice attack. Of course, ice attack can cause ice status ailment. Pretty simple explanation. Let's get rid of this guy who's going to throw a boulder at us. How how rude. Alright, so another spin jump and the ice puff is gone. At this stage in the game, also some of the enemies start giving us quite a few star points. Um, I think some like give you four, four, five. So it's pretty good. I highly suggest you try to fight all the battles you can in this area. Anyway, there should be... Yep, Shine Sprite right there. It is probably one of the hardest ones to find. Alright, there should be another enemy. Alright, let's see if we can get his first strike on this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, really? I should have gotten a first strike on that. That was... Uh, I want a mulligan game. Give me a mulligan. Alright, here's a star piece. No, it's not that hard to find. It's kind of hidden there in the bush. Not really problem at all. And this should be one of the last star pieces that we're collecting. Yep, we are almost there with all hundred star pieces. I'm excited. And then we also have a new enemy here. This is an ice piranha. Or a frost piranha. Not entirely sure what the name is. It is a frost piranha. Wow, I was right. Alright, let's try our new ultra hammer. And it does some decent damage. It's basically like the regular Super Hammer, except when it knocks the enemy backwards, it just knocks him in with more damage. And these guys, they also like to perform an Ice Tech, and I can't believe I Super Guarded that. That was awesome! It's also pretty cool that I get to keep that battle in, because it's a new enemy and all. Yay! Alright. So, now that we've got that taken care of, let's continue on. There are quite a few of these enemies, there, there isn't really anything else else other than an Ice Puff and a Frost Piranha, so I'll just go battle the rest of these guys and I'll see you guys once we reach Far Outpost! Alright, there's one Ice Puff, there should be another Frost Piranha, maybe two. Alright. Wow, that is quite a few... Oh man, there are four Frost Piranhas. I think I just might as well just keep this battle in. Um, Four Frost Piranhas each have 10 HP. I think Showstopper should be shown off. Alright, this is the star power, the special move that we just got after 
um, that we just got from Poshley Heights. It's pretty simple, just press the buttons that they show up. Um, it's kind of timed, but it's kind of hard to tell how long, how much time you have. So just take your time and go slow, just don't hit any wrong buttons, it's not that hard. And we also get this cool animation of six crystal stars popping out of the screen. And it luckily destroys all enemies. Very befitting for a special move. I did not anticipate a second battle right after that. Alright, so let's collect the coins. And before we head off, let's grab this badge in it. What is it? Oh, it's an HP plus P badge. How useless. Alright, and behind this wall should be a star piece. Yep. Alright. So now we are heading off to Far Outpost. <clears throat> How efficient. They're utilizing the power of the wind. So, this is Far Outpost. Where do you think they could keep their cannon of theirs? Well, only one way to find out. Let's get started by talking to the villagers. Uh, I don't want to talk to the villagers. Instead, I want to find star pieces. And there's one right there. All right. Um, the last couple star pieces are not here. They're further on in the chapter. But, like Vivian said, we should go talk to the villagers. But there's only really one villager I really want to talk to. And he's not this guy. Um, there's a shine sprite over here. And, sadly, this marks the last shine sprite of the game. Yep, we've collected all shine sprites. Well, anyway, what we want to do is we want to talk to that gold bob -omb, I mean, <laughs> green bob -omb right there. There's a star piece there. Um, there should be another star piece in one of these houses. Oh, uh, man, I don't even remember which one it is. It's not in this area. It has to be in a house. Um, checking my notes. <clears throat> Says a star piece should be in. Should be in this house, or next to this house, and behind some boxes. Alright, let's check this area. Okay, it's behind these boxes. Alright. So that is the last star piece of Far Outpost. So, like we want to do, we're going to go talk to that green Babam. Make sure you have Bobbery out in your party, or else this guy won't talk to you. Da, what business do you have here? What? A cannon? No such thing is here. Now listen here, you're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Simple, all politicians do that. Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush, you call yourself a bubble, I spit at you. You know the rules, there is to be no mention of cannon to non bombs no mention. We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. <laughs> we must use that can to get the, to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm, ha, oh, world could end. Um, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Gold Bob to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to faraway places policy. <laughs> Best policy name ever. Once he got rich, he let business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. <laughs> but he was so depressed by losing a job that he took cannon key and left. Wow. Gold Bob and General White? Da, that is correct. <laughs> if you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob in General White. Very well then. We can't give up now, old boy. Mari, let's go find those two. Okay. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Alright, we'll do that. But before we go do that, I first want to heal up a bit. There is no heal block, so I'm just going to have to stay here at the inn. And this will also give me an opportunity to use one of my in coupons. Woo! Da, I'll stay. <laughs> you have in coupon? Yes. Have a good sleep. Alright, so like the green bob said, we have to go find two individuals in order to use a cannon. The General White and Gold Bob. Luckily, we know Gold Bob already, and we know exactly where he is. 
He is down in Pasha Heights, so I think first thing we're gonna do is go to Pasha Heights. But also, I think now that we got all the Shine Sprites, I think it's befitting to actually go level up some of our partners now. So I'll meet you guys back in the places that we need to go. So I'll see you guys there. Oh, great. What a great way to start off the day. Leveling up. Woo! Alright, I'm gonna have to keep that battle in. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with the BP. We've got quite a bit of HP and FP. I think we need to start getting our BP up there. So, without further ado, 33 BP, now ours. Alright. Oh, we also became an A-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage get even bigger. Awesome. Alright, now back in Rogueport. Like I said, we have all the Shine Sprites left. So, we're gonna, um... We'll level up our last three partners to Ultra Rink. Or last four partners. Wow, I can do math. Alright, so first is Goombella. And Goombella's... Actually, Goombella's Ultra Rink is probably the best Ultra Rink. One of the best Ultra Rink moves I can think of. I'll talk about those later. So, there we go. Goombella's final ranking. And I'll cut away to the rest of the group. Alright, so now that Mrs. Mouse is on Ultra Rank, I think I'll show off those guys' moves. So, Mrs. Mouse. Mrs. Mouse is used, um, Ultra Rank move is Smooch. Goombella is Rally Wink. And Koops is Shell Slam. Um, thing to note. Oh, and Flurry's Dodgy Fog. Thing to note. Mrs. Mouse is not really that useful of a partner, but her attacks are defense piercing. So, that's a good thing to know. Her Love Slap can pierce defense. Only downside to the fact that she can pierce defense is the fact that her attack is the lowest attack power of all the partners. It's like two or three, so I don't usually bother with Miss Mouse other than finding all the star pieces. That's basically it. Also, her ultra rank move, Smooch, it costs 10 FP. But the reason why it costs 10 FP is because it gives you gives Mario 10 HP. It's kind of like a trade-off between FP and HP. It's really useless, unless you're in, like, dire need of health. So that's basically it. Anyway, so now that we, um, have quite a few shine, uh, star pieces, I think I'm gonna purchase a few items from Dazzle here, including a Power Plus. Alright. So that brings up to 24 star pieces I've actually spent. So keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Alright, back in the shortcut room, we're going to head off to Poshley Heights first in order to talk to and find Gold Bob. Um, I basically set up my badge system that I have a Power Plus badge, an extra one on, so I'm actually kind of leveling myself up right now, just making myself a little bit more dangerous. Just make myself easier to go through the battles, because these battles that are going to come up ahead soon, they're not going to be the easiest of the battles that we've faced so far. Anyway, here's Gold Bob, so let's talk to Gold Bob. Good day to you, Gonzales. What can I do for you today? What's that, you say? You must use a cannon in Far Outpost to save the world. Hmm. Well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor or two. Hmm, yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. <laughs> Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, how much would you pay, if I may ask? So we can either go nothing, one coin, 64 coins, huh? Everything I have, let's go with that. What? You'd pay every coin you own? All of them? You, you Really? So really, yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yes. I mean, that, that think of it, man. If you spend all your coins, I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Well, I would, but yeah. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you want you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. I can really take them all, really. You won't say just kidding later on or any sort of tomfoolery like that. Yep. Well, alright then. And thus we lose all of our coins. We declared bankruptcy! No! So, I get my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. 
And we got the Gold Bob Guide. Awesome. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? Ha ha ha. It's a shame, I suppose, but I'll return your money. <laughs> and that's how we got back our 136 coins. Woo! It's like, it's like pity money to him. Oh, stupid emails. All right, so now that we got the Gold Bob's Guide, only one thing left to do. We have to find... If I can talk straight, we have to find General White. So... <sighs> the reason why I'm sighing is because finding General White is not going to be easy. This starts a little bit of a mandatory side quest, more like a fetch quest. And first things first, if you can remember all the way back in Chapter 1, you might have noticed that we have seen General White before. He resided in Petalburg. Yep, so, let's go see if he's still here. Now, in Chapter 1, General White's house is right there, but it doesn't seem like he's there, so let's go talk to the mayor and see where General White is. Maybe the mayor knows who he is. Oh, if it isn't Murphy. Hey, what's that you say? General White? Uh, General, huh? well, I'm certain I've seen him around, but I'm not, not lately, no. I think he may have possibly said he might head south to a more tropical locale. Creaky Key? Was that it? Yep, that's it. That might possibly, perhaps, could be it. Alright, so let's go to Creaky Key. I mean, Key Hall Key. Alright, so now back at the shortcut pipe to Key Hall Key. Hopefully we can find General right here. If not... Then where could General White possibly be? Where in the world is General White? Yeah, alright. So let's talk to the Patch. See where he is. General White? Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. Said he was gone to an arena or something. Okay, I'll meet you guys in Glitz Pit. Alright, now back we're, now that we're here in Glitzville, how about we head into the bar? See if General White is here. Seems like a hot locale. Hey, look, there's Jolene. All prettied up. General White? Oh, you must mean that white bob -omb, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time, but I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree or not. Oh, okay, so now I'm going to meet you guys back at the Bogley Tree. Chapter 2. Awesome, yay! Don't you just love this place? Seems like we're always here for some fun activity or something like that. Anyway, even though we're here at the Great Bogley Tree, not much to do here other than talk to this puny here. So let's go talk to him. Welcome to the Great Tree. Uh, General White? Yeah, he's an old bub with this great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. Well, do we know any place that's really dark? How about Twilight Town? That sounds pretty dark to me. Alright, now that we're in Twilight Town, you might know you might not know who to talk to, but the guy you want to talk to is this one. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He has a white bob right? He was here until recently. What? Where did he go? What am I, as a secretary? He looked tired, I know that. And the trail ends, but if we go back to Far Outpost... Ugh. Alright, now that we're back in Far Outpost, just one thing I want to mention quickly. Um, in order to get to Glitz Pit Arena, there is no shortcut pipe. Same with, uh, the Twilight Town. So you're gonna have to go to the original location, so you're gonna have to ride the blimp. You're gonna have to go to the Twilight Town pipe. That's basically it. Every anything else, you can use a shortcut pipe. Well, anyway, as a guy in Twilight Town said, General White was tired, so he possibly went home to fall asleep. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. He's still asleep. Try again. He's still sound asleep. Try again. He's definitely still asleep. Try again. He's still sawing logs. <laughs> oh. He couldn't be more asleep. Try again. Definitely. Come on, buddy. Wake up. He ca he's counting sheep. Maybe he ate his sleepy sheep. He woke. Nah, still asleep. <laughs> I love that. Getting my hopes up. Sleeping like a stash baby. Try again. <clears throat> He's not even budging. Try again. He's still snoring away. <laughs> Man, how much can this guy take? Oh, there we go. Go snorf snorf. Oh, he's awake. Now, who are you? 
I'm tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep as it all is hopeless. Huh? That mustache, that hat, and that hammer even. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you. Really? Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online. I lost my life's work with the very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the roadport fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. Uh, not to burst your bu bubble bot guy, but, um, I'm wearing purple clothes, not red. <laughs> and here you are. Huh, you need to use a cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hooray! The fortune teller was right! If you can't tell, my voice is shot. Wow. Oh boy. Now get moving, hut hut. Yep, my voice is shot. How did he go leave his house without the door being open? See, now the door is open. What? Anyway, let's go talk to the green babom. So, Ken is back online? Well, I could just explode with delight. Now, let us shoot you guys to moon. We've done it, old boy. No, you follow me. Alright, let's follow you, buddy. You come this way. Got it. Come on, Mario, don't slack off now. You're going to the moon. Very few people get the very opportunity. You should count yourself lucky, buddy. Alright, so now we got General White. Ugh, and now that we got Gold Bob's Gold Bob Guide, we can finally go to the moon. No, you stand here. Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, more like falling. <laughs> General Light, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Uh, leave it to me. Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Hoo hoo, ha boom! No, positions everyone. You, sir. They are marching, marching. I love how official they all look. Alright, who would have thought bub would be Russian? <laughs> Bring guidance system online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check, all clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Yes, awesome snare drum music. And holy cow, that's a big hole. Open inner shutter. Dang, that's... <laughs> Elevate on my mark. And here comes the big bomb cannon. I love her, how like everyone's so casual about this. <laughs> Look at this cannon, it's so huge! Imagine the hole they had to dig to put that in the ground. Sighting, target is a moon. Um, aim a little bit higher, buddy. What? Direction 75.38. Elevation 54.66. Range 389603. There it is. Wind speed 1.08. Correct direction 3.03. Correct elevation negative 2.39. Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now everyone in. Where did all these bombs come from? That's like my one question. And I'm not even really asking how in the world did they build this cannon? I'm just asking where all the bombs came from. Close chamber hatch. It's crowded in here. Boom. Stops pushing. Bazoom. Ow, ow, ow. You're on my foot. Baboom. He's tight in your plume. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Stop breathing on my neck. Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time, Big Bomb Cannon, FIRE! And how Mario and Bobbery don't explode in this whole ordeal, especially Bobbery, he's a bomb himself. He's a bomb himself, how does he not explode? Oh, look, all the bombs are safe. 
Good luck, Mario. Luck is all we need. Yeah. I made it to the moon, mother! 